Hello and welcome to the MBS show. It's Daniel Anthony hosting this week. Co-hosting with me is Norman Sanzo. Hey guys. Hello Norman. Now I know how it feels like to be in your place. <laughs> How's your day been? Well, it's been pretty busy really. Hmm, okay. So, um besides Norman, Emilio Daniel's also on air with us. Emilio, how have you been? What up? Um I I'm, I'm half asleep right now. But I'm trying to stay awake for the sake of everyone here. It's one of our earliest shows and you're half asleep. Wow. I know. I'm usually only awake at night. <laughs> <laughs> And today, also with us is Bamboo Pony. Hello. Hi there, Bamboo. So how's your day been? My day has been fine. Oh, that's awesome. So, Bamboo, before we start the show, you have four important questions to answer for us. First question is, who's best pony? Best pony? I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure it's Twilight Sparkle. Hmm, that's interesting. Not many people have chosen Twilight Sparkle as the best pony. So, uh, the second question we've got to ask you is, which is your favourite episode? My favourite episode would be, for season one, I'm guessing Party of One. <laughs> I love that episode. <laughs> that's a great answer, something that we never heard before. <laughs> and uh, so, let's move on a bit to something else. How did it all start for you? How did you become a brony? Oh, a funny story though. Uh, I was busy uh, searching through the internet and... First time I have seen ponies is um, looking through people's avatar. I was like, hmm, okay, this might be awkward, but the first thing that went through my mind was, why are people watching these cute and cuddly guy ponies that has feminine names? Hey, I'm, I was asking my American friend, hey, have you heard of this show before, My Little Pony? He said, no. I was like, hey, uh, they have like girly man ponies in like... <laughs> He's like, okay. So, by the time I, I was free, I managed to check it out and, man, was I dumbstruck. They were all girls. So, you uh, meaning to say you saw like Rule 63s of some ponies on the internet? No. Uh, at first, I thought they were actually guy ponies. Oh, okay. Feminine looking ones. Ah, oh, okay, okay. That's interesting. You know, I have to say, that's an interesting way to be a fan of the fandom. <laughs> yep. Uh, really interesting yeah. story. <laughs> Yo, I, I gotta say, I really, really wish one day someone would start the story of the Brony origin stories where instead of funny story, they would say, like, sad story. Because everyone's saying the same thing, like, funny story, this is how I became a Brony. Like, well, actually, to a surprise, they're actually looking for people like this for the upcoming BronyCon documentary that is going to be done by John Delancey. They were actually having a casting call looking for people who had their lives touched by ponies and how it has changed them and especially people like war veterans, families and autistic children. They're looking for people like this to star in the documentary. So, you know, if they find these people, this documentary is going to be a really awesome one. Don't you think so? I hope so. Mm -hmm. And Bamboo, our final question, uh, well, not really our final question, but the final of the four main questions to you is, how do your family and friends react to the show? I mean, not to the show, to you liking the show. My family thought I was weird, but my friends, um, they sort of enjoy the show with me, although they're not bronies. Mm, that's interesting. <laughs> I'm, I also have friends like that. They enjoy the show, but nah, they're not bronies. So now that housekeeping's over, let's move into the news of the week. So, Emilio, why don't you take the first news topic? I think you're going to like this. No problem, guys. All right, in today's news topic, Dead Mouse 5 is not a brony, but... And WK could be. On episode 15, we mentioned that Dead Mouse could be a brony. But in his latest tweets on Twitter, he said that he was just messing around with his brony fans. And somewhat related, the musician Andrew WK, known for the song Ready to Die, that was used for the cupcake animation, posted a message on his Facebook wall. In his post, he linked off to some creative PMV that included his music and oddly enough, they all include Pinkie Pie. Mm. I wonder why. Links can be found in the show notes. I actually saw that post and he said, Pinkie Pie is the partying as pony of all time. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw it too. It was like, I think it was a post on the daily, the daily what? That talk about Andrew WK might be a brony and all that. Yeah, and then there was a picture of him drinking gasoline after that. No idea how that's relevant. <laughs> <laughs> so what does everyone think about this? Well, um... I'm quite surprised that he approves of the PMVs, really. You know how sometimes big uh, celebrities always yeah. crush down on people using their music? Like, hey, you cannot use my music, uh, take it down, or something like that. He's yeah. actually promoting them, really. But honestly, I have a sad, you know, I thought Dead Mouse was really a brony. Yeah. Uh, but 
from if you remember on episode 15 where we talk about that mouse, Emilio told us that he liked to mess around with his fans. So yeah, he's a troll. <laughs> yeah, so what Emilio said was true. But the thing is, See? Dead Mouse does know about us and he even tweeted Rainbow Dash is best pony before he said Dead Mouse is best pony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there, I mean, like Emilio said, he's a troll and all that stuff. I mean, does it really matter? I mean, well, at least he's a troll that does his research. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, yeah, actually, that is one good point. He really does his research. Like, I've seen many of his trolls, and he gets facts quite right, actually. <laughs> Dead Mouse Five, also a professional troller. <laughs> like a boss. <laughs> okay, so Bamboo, why don't you have a look at the next one? My little pony at the. 2012 Licensing Expo and Vinyl Scratch is now canon. Cannot. Whatever. Alright. <clears throat> so, um, 2012 Licensing Expo in Las Vegas has grown promoting some of their brands. Uh, one brand in particular was my pony friendship is Magic and they also displayed some merchandise on the show floor. One notable thing to be added is the name Vinyl Scratch is now canon. All can be found in the show notes below. Mm-hmm. There is even a link to the angryotaku.blogspot.com. They provided coverage of this event. It looks really, really fancy. Mm-hmm. I know, it's an expo for licensing. What interests me is if you look at the pictures in the angryotaku.blogspot.com, they show some shirts from Wheel of Fine. Oh, okay. Um, do you guys know what this expo is for, really? Yeah, it's a licensing thing. It's uh, sort of talking about intellectual property. Yeah, indeed. It, um, for any company, let's just say um, Bata from Malaysia wants to make yeah. a pony shoe. So they can just go to this expo, chat with Hasbro and make pony shoes. Yeah. If they're interested I, in it. Don't step on ponies. I've actually been to one of these events and yeah, it's like, it's, uh, they tend to take out some cool stuff because it's like, all these new product ideas and stuff, so it turns out quite interesting, really. And one more fact before we move on is Final Scratch is now canon! <laughs> this is really awesome. DJ Pwn3 and Vinyl Scratch are both canon now. <laughs> Don't you notice that? Yeah. Yep. That's awesome. Yep. And for five second pony, she got all the glamour. Yep, I thought Dizzy, I thought Derpy had the most glam, you know. She just said muffins in the whole of season one. She had one word. <laughs> muffins. <laughs> and now, wow, if they can only make a dishwasher dubstep. As I said, <laughs> my dishwasher. Microscopic, yes, okay. <laughs> Alright, Norman, how about you take the final news article for the week? Okay, cool, no problem. So, how do ponies pick up stuff? Mm. Ever wondered how ponies pick up stuff or even whole stuff? Well, this story may not really apply to ponies, but the science is there. Scientists at the Cornell Creative Machines Lab have developed a robot that can pick up and hold almost anything. Now apply the science to ponies. Link can be found in the show notes. This is like the next greatest question to how do magnets work. (laughs) True indeed. Well, the video they show in the links actually explains a lot about how to use vacuums and all that stuff, but... You guys should take a look at the video. It's really interesting. I'm actually looking at it right now. I had a feeling that some vacuums were going to be a part of it, you know, because every time I think about it, if any of you have watched the movie Three Idiots, (laughs) yeah, you know, vacuum cleaners, they work wonders. Uh, No, but actually the science is there. It has to do with um, coffee, coffee grains and vacuum and how they use the coffee vacuum. Uh, You you have to see the video. I'm not doing it justice. Coffee, vacuum, ponies and hooves in one article. I have to watch this video. Like, what? <laughs> well, actually, when thinking about uh, this uh, whole robotic thing that can pick up anything, and uh, the question of how do ponies pick up stuff, it kind of reminds me of that. If any of you have watched this show called uh, Doctor Who's and Delphi Who? And Delphi? <laughs> Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yes, I, I was like, that. this is legendary line. I think it's, re- it's really cool line. And so it's like, how do you even pick up that thing? <laughs> The doctor is like, it's very really easy. I was like, what? Hey, why did you discover how to pick up stuff? You're like, oh, look at this, I'm picking up a stick, I'm picking up a thing. That was so cute. And I was like, I think I'll keep this broom. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the cutest thing ever. So, now you know, hooves can do a lot more things than just, you know, walk. I did not know that. That was really interesting. Mind blown. <laughs> So now let's move over to guest time. Our guest for this week is none other than Bamboo Pony. If you haven't already seen what he's done, he is a brony musician. And not only is he into music, he's an artist in a few other ways. He draws as well. The links to his DeviantArt and his SoundCloud are in the show notes below. So, Bamboo, we've got a few questions for you. So starting off these uh, questions, most of them come from Norman. 
he like to ask, what drawing application do you use to well draw? Well, um, I'm very um, how do you say uh, traditional? Mm, not just traditional. I can move from pencil drawings to uh, digital drawings. Like uh, I can use Photoshop, Sai, or my paint. So oh. far, yeah. so which would you consider your favorite? Um, all of them have their own pros and cons. Yeah. So I don't really have a favorite. I would say my paint for now. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. To be honest, I've never heard of my paint. <laughs> I stick to the GIMP and Inkscape when I do my stuff. Ah. So Norman, why don't you ask the second question? You know, since it's a follow-up to the first one. Okay. Cool. So bamboo. Um, do you use a tablet to draw? And if you do, by any chance, do you use a Wacom bamboo tablet? <laughs> I thought it was pronounced Wacom. <laughs> I, I, I honestly, I, I honestly pronounce it as Wacom, like him. <laughs> well, anyway, do you use a Wacom bamboo? You guessed right. I use a, a bamboo Wacom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that's interesting. Which model to be exact? Um, I think the old one. I, yeah, the normal bamboo Wacom, the black color. Oh my god, the grey one? Are you serious? Um, no, no, the slightly uh, later version. Okay, thank you, because I was, I was about to scream at you if you did use the grey one. <laughs> hey, that's hipster, okay? <laughs> he used the bamboo before it was mainstream. <laughs> I used a Wacom tablet before it was called bamboo. <laughs> so, uh, Emilio, why don't you take the next question? Alright, now it's my turn to ask the questions. Number three. Uh, so, bamboo, how long does it take you to finish one drawing? That's a... Uh, Interesting question because my average would be like what two hours. Oh, it's really fast. fast. Wow, <laughs> I, I was expecting you like procrastinate a lot because a lot of my artists procrastinate like sh- like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that depends on their schedule, but if an average time would be around two hours for any artist. <laughs> I see. Okay. So I suppose you really like when you draw, you put 100% of your attention on the drawing? Um, actually 50, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you would stay 120%. No, 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 no. He needs the remaining 50% for imagination, people. Remember that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so uh, the next question is, what inspired you to draw? Or what inspires you to draw? All right. Uh, what inspired me to draw? Oh. Um, at first, when I was young, I was more interested in painting rather than drawing. Mm-hmm. So, uh, surprisingly, uh, if, uh, I only started drawing since, uh, although I started drawing, I think, when I was six, but the, when I started drawing, I mean, starting to learn manga, uh, that was in form one. Uh, yeah, well, you guessed it later on uh, in art college and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I started drawing probably around six. So uh, what do you lo- what inspires you today? As in, you know, if, if you draw usually, I mean, other, th- other than for assignments or anything, what inspires you to just come up with things? Uh, what inspires me? Well, um, I don't know. Admiring people's work, be it art or music. Yeah, music normally inspires me to draw. Mm, interesting. Yeah, literally. So, Emilio, I think you should take the next two because that's more relevant to you. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, moving on to question number five. Uh, so, Bamboo, I'm going to ask you a musical question, related question. Uh, the question is, how long have you been composing music? Um, let's see. Um, since hmm, like from four days, that would be four to five years. Oh, all right. Uh, so it was like you you started straight away on digital or? Oh, trust me. Uh, I have no skill in uh, physical. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, acoustic. I, acoustic. Oh, okay. I started digital straight on. Oh, okay. So. What inspired you to compose music? At first, it was just a silly side hobby with a friend. We were originally doing a shuffle group. But uh, due to events, we just broke up. But we promised we would continue doing music together. But uh, he uh, chose study first. Studies first. So, uh, oh well. <laughs> I, uh, his music is amazing. But for me, uh, I just continue promoting, uh, I mean, uh, composing music as a side hobby. Oh, uh, okay. Alright. Uh, so, my own question is, do you have any formal education in music? Formal? That'll, that'll be like what? Um, Graded piano, like stuff like that? Yeah, no, as in theory, you know, do you have a basic knowledge of theory? Besides a one hour video, no. Wow! <laughs> Whoa, okay. Learn music like a boss. You're a musician with one hour's worth of music <laughs> education. How the heck did they pack all that into one hour? I need to meet the guy who made this video. What <laughs> have I been doing with my 14 years of education? What? I totally feel you, Emilio. I feel grade 8 music. <laughs> <laughs> I... Dude! <laughs> okay. Well, 
seriously, uh, compared to you guys, I I know close to nothing. Seriously. Okay. Well, it's the result that counts. And look at you, you're producing such awesome stuff. Uh, I just rely on my ears. That's it. Theory wise, I <laughs> below zero. Well, music is basically something for the ears. There's nothing else you can count on for it. <laughs> so yeah, if you trust your ears, you can't go wrong. All right. <laughs> So, Norman, how about you take the next two questions? Okay, cool. So, uh, Bamboo, what kind of program do you use to compose music? Uh, I, only choose, uh, I only use a FL Studio, you know, Fruity Loops, yeah. So, um, that, that's pretty much it. Uh, those days, where before I heard of Fruity Loops Studio, I only know how to quote-unquote remix. Uh, using Sony Vegas Pro. Oh, that's what I learned with in college, yeah. In college, wow, well, how many times am I going to say college? <laughs> My syllabus was taught with the Sony Vegas application. And it was kind of good, but one thing, I, one problem I had with it was it was Malaysia, so we never had a good version. And I turned to Audacity because Audacity is freeware and it doesn't really suck. I honestly have never heard of anyone using Sony Vegas to remix music. Honestly. It was like all these years, like, what? This is the first I'm hearing. Neither have I. Yeah. I mean, I don't like Apple, but when it comes to music, I use GarageBand. So anyway, Abemu, how long did you use Sony Vegas? Um, how, how long did you use it? How long? Well, for that one year, I only used it for like, what? I think only a month or so. That's where I learned about uh, Fruity Loop Studio from a friend who is now a DJ. Mm. See, Emilio, he doesn't really use Sony Vegas. Okay, thank God. It got no... <laughs> but it's a good, it's a really good start. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Uh, any more questions, Norman? Yeah, uh, the last one from me is, how long does it take to finish a track? That, uh, well, compared to my uh, drawings, it could take from two days to... Uh, the max for me was half a year. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no wonder your song only has three songs. Oh, no. Uh, I have plenty of songs waiting to be posted. It's oh. just that I'm procrastinating way too much. <laughs> Mm, I see, that's interesting. I have probably, like, uh, I previously uh, quoted before, 50 over songs. Wow. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. And I think, what, eight, uh, eight to nine pony music. That's wow. pretty much it. <laughs> oh, okay, that's cool. Uh, Emilio, any more questions from your side? I, I guess I can get a bit technical with you, if you don't mind. Uh, uh, all right. <clears throat> like, a bit of the technical side, do you actually, like, of course, you already said you don't have any much formal music education, but do you, uh, how about as in the technical side of mixing, in that sense, do you have any, uh, do you know any basics on that? Basics, um, I can't really break down to you what basics I know, because, uh... But- because you said uh, you started uh, uh, remixing music and you know when you remix music there's a lot of leveling going on so I was just wondering like how to what extent is that? Basically that sort of remixing was just uh, clipping and pretty much clippings but in remix wise because the two songs that I chosen that day had almost the same beat and mm-hmm. was in almost perfect sync I was like oh my goodness oh, yeah okay mm-hmm. okay yeah so it's uh, down to my ears again Lucky boy. <laughs> because, yeah, uh, just a little advice for you. Since, because since you don't have any formal and music education in sense of theory, I would suggest uh, you learn basic mixing. It's called basic mixing. So, you know, just go for that. To, like, oh. improve, because from where I can see you are right now, you're at, you're more of a, you're more of a mixer, really. So, you should learn, brush up on mixing. But, uh, my true intentions were never mixing, actually, because I never heard of any composing programs. I always wanted to compose, not really remix or anything. <laughs> that was my original intent, to compose, not mix. So, um, the last question comes from uh, me, and I think I've developed quite a bit of a habit of asking this question since last week's episode. Where did you get the idea for your name? Ah, alright. Where did I get it? Well, <laughs> that's, a, that's an easy answer from my whack off. <laughs> I knew it! Oh my god! <laughs> I did not think of that! Okay. Oh my god, neither did I! <laughs> wow, mind blown! <laughs> it's like, whoa! It was in front of our faces all along! I expected, like, you know, you went probably so for some meditation trip, you sat in the middle of a jungle and, you know, you felt the breeze and then you got inspired by bamboo and then suddenly, what, your bamboo tablet? Whoa! <laughs> or, I could, yeah. um, I could uh, say that I, I like bamboo because I use uh, chef, uh, okay, I uh, used some sort of body wash that is made of uh, bamboo acid. That's where my first account came in, bamboo acids. But ever since I heard of uh, My Little Pony, I created another <coughs> persona, which is bamboo pony. So there you go. 
Oh, interesting. I like the first one better. Oh, the first one is mostly Android, so oh. <laughs> Android furries. <laughs> no, what I mean is I like the first one so better, where you got your name by just looking at your walk on Bamboo. <laughs> You're like, what should I call myself? What should I call myself? Oh my god, Bamboo! <laughs> Revelation! Okay, so thank you very much for your time, Bamboo. Thank you for having me on the show. So next we move on to email time and wow, wow, Norman, we've got an email. What, really? You got an email? Mm, really? Yay! Uh, it's been so long and it's from our good old friend, Muffy Derp. Yeah, our number one fan. Yay! <laughs> Dear yay. MBS show people, yes, I'm alive and no, I didn't forget you guys. I still tune into your show when I get free time. I'd like to comment about the newer episodes. Wow, getting brony celebs onto the show is sure a neat addition. I enjoyed listening to what Dusty Cat and Purple Tinker had to say. Perhaps one day we'll get to hear from someone from the actual MLP show on. Sincerely, Muffy Derp. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Thank you, Muffy. Well, we are working hard on getting them on, but <laughs> they are busy. It'll come soon, hopefully. One day. Let's, let's all keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> yep. So, let's wrap this show up. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, or you just want to say hi to us, we can be reached at the mbsshow at gmail.com. You can also reach us on Twitter. Our Twitter handle is the MBS Show. My Twitter handle is at St. Pinky, S-T-P-I-N-K-I-E. And I'm at Romasanzo. And I'm at King of Cuteness, which is really cute, by the way. <laughs> yep, and you can subscribe to us on iTunes. And please, 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 if you are listening to us over iTunes, give us a review, give us ratings. We will love you forever. Really, even if it's constructive, we appreciate it. Thank you very much for listening in to us. We hope to see you all next week. My name is Daniel Anthony. I'm Norman Sanzo. And I'm Emilio Daniel. And I'm Bamboo Pony. We'll see you next week. See that pony around town. Yeah, she's new, I hear. She studies magic. Living in a library, man, that seems kind of weird. But she's magic, I hear. She learns quick, yeah, she's top of Celestia. There's nobody better. And she's AJ's friend. She's AJ's friend. And while that flag's pretty hot, I swear I'll watch for the plot and her magic. Well, here comes Trixie, and my feelings are mixed, see? Because she's one of my favorite mares. But Twilight's stronger, and she's been here for longer. Gets at her, so she answered all our prayers. I am me the call to spend this time with you. Well, oh, I'm crazy over you, yeah. I just want to be your cult friend. See that pony around town, love is in the air. This feeling is magic. When I see her, I'm cheery If only she'd notice me That'd be magic But I'll never quit Yeah, she's friends with the princess Attracted my interest And she's Rainbow's friend She's Rainbow's friend And if I'm blinded or not She's the pony I want With her magic Now I know That I had to borrow Library books for us to meet Tried to woo her, said I drew her When I showed her that she just looked creeped out I guess I'm a fool to fall in love with you Well, ooh, I've got some tragic news She's obviously into mares I see that pony around town helping other folk With her magic What's that? Trixie is back in a puff of smoke Man, she's magic, better court her quick Yeah, she's great and powerful When I see her, my heart's full She don't need no friends Don't need no friends Now that I know about Twilight I guess Trixie is alright with her magic Now Twilight, Twilight, Twilight Why'd you have to go and be into mares? Those mares, those mares but now I've got my Trixie and I love her so I don't really care Don't care, don't care, don't care Wait, what? Why? Why? Why, Trixie? I love you It's 
It's the gorgeous rarity. She's so magic. She's my number one pick. Yeah, she stitches those dresses. Soon I'll give her caresses. She'll be my mare friend. She's my mare friend. And if that spike's in my way, I swear I'll make him pay with my magic.